The road to golf's U.S. Open goes through Central Oregon this year. The USGA and the Oregon Golf Association are holding final qualifying for the national championship at Pronghorn Resort. Jack Hirsch has been at the tournament today, and he joins us now live from Pronghorn. It's pretty unique for Central Oregon to have this. Yeah, it is, Lee. That's because while Pronghorn's Nicholas course has hosted local qualifying, this is the first time final qualifying for the U.S. Open has ever been east of the Cascades. Now, you, to get into a final qualifier, you typically have to play in a local qualifier, and then from the final qualifier, well, you play well here, and you get in the U.S. Open next week in Massachusetts. Now, before that, though, there are a lot of steps to putting on this tournament and determining how the three spots from this sectional qualifier are awarded. All right, here we go. Monday, Brett Whitaker's job was to problem solve. Just small little things and details that go wrong throughout the day. Here's the tablet. Actually, he's the tournament director for the U.S. Open qualifier at Pronghorn's Nicholas course. The event, one of 11 the U.S. Golf Association holds, gives out the remaining spots in golf's U.S. Open next week in Brookline, Massachusetts. It's called Golf Longest Day because there's 11 qualifying sites across the country, and we're one of those um, 11 sites. It's also just a long day. Each of the U.S. Open hopefuls plays two rounds on Monday with a short break in between. Some of the competitors include current and former Oregon and Oregon State stars like Spencer Tibbetts, Daniel Murnaki, and Yuki Moriyama. Even former PGA Tour winner Charlie Beljan is attempting to nab just one of three spots available in Bend. To see three individuals who are going to move on uh, to the U.S. Open here in 10 days is uh, we feel very special that we, we get to play a part of that. And the next up on the tee from Bellevue, Washington, Max Herendine. With all his star power, 17-year-old Max Herendine stole the show in the morning round with a 5 under 67 to lead. But there's still plenty more golf to play. It takes a long time to play 36 holes because you got to get them done, finish the first round, and then start the second round. The Open gets nearly 10,000 entries each year, and Central Oregon is playing a small role in narrowing down to the best field a role Whitaker may see it holding again. Ben certainly has a plethora of great golf courses, and this is one of them. Now the second round is just finishing up, Lee, and we're starting to get some scores. It looks like the projected cut right now is six under for those three spots. There are two golfers tied at six under, and then former Stanford standout Isaiah Salinda has gotten himself to nine under, with a couple of golfers at four under and one at five. One of those at four under was Max Herendine, the first round leader. Things are just finishing up here, so we're also going to be finishing up our coverage. So live at Pronghorn, Jack Hirsch, News Channel 21. Six under, you can do that, Jack.